First of all, before we begin, the kupunas always said that whenever you speak about Molokai, it's important to say that it's 32 miles long and 10 miles wide from uh, the point of Kalapapa. So the island is only 10 miles wide and 32 miles long. That is really small. Whatever happens on one side will affect the whole island. And the Kupunas, um, who was our last historian, um, told us that when we were young people. And so I guess they knew someday we would share our stories also, which are their stories. The foundation of our Hawaiian people is spiritual and that we have a connection to our Kupuna. We have a connection to those yet unborn. You see, the Hawaiian concept is not one of religion, it's one of spirituality. All of nature is created by God, therefore all of it is sacred. The old feelings for the land and for the island um, still are there for the people. They, the people feel it. Um, and I believe that those who come to Molokai also see that. They see and feel um, the love of the land and the people's loyalty to that land. We know we're from here, but we know we never did own this Aina. We never did own this Mokopuni Molokai. It belongs to Akua. We are the steward. And that's our responsibility to be steward upon this Aina and to Malama. And that's what we need to do. The mana that still exists here through the olelo, the words, and pule of our kupuna are still here. But what, what scares me is the fact that once things are said and done without pono, the consequences cannot be reversed. In the ancient times, Molokai was considered to be the wealthiest of all the Hawaiian islands. And the ancient ones measures the wealth of an island by its ability to produce food. The word for wealth in Hawaiian is vai vai, spelled W-A-I, W-A-I. Simply translated, it means fresh water, fresh water. Over the last 10 years, we experienced really bad droughts to the point where one of the wells servicing Kanakakai has already gone salty and the uh, Walapue well servicing most of East Molokai is now going salty. Um, if this is not indicative of the direction we're going in, then nothing else is. Um, we need to look at what is important on this island to use our water for. And the most obvious would be our people and our food. There are some values we will never compromise. And if it involves the Aina, the values of Kupuna taught us that keeps us alive as a distinct people, there will be no compromise. What's important is that we maintain our philosophy and our concept, because that's what made Mohe. What's killing us today is this new philosophy and concept. M-O-N-E-Y, right, money. Uh, if you look at the newspapers recently, there's a growing divide between rich and poor. And now we're starting to see that on Molokai, where we're starting to get imposed by these outside rich values coming onto our island and corrupting our values. These people that are coming here, that are buying land on Molokai, do not understand and they do not have the sense of place like we do but we need to share with them our manao, to share with them about our aina, how and what we like our aina of Olakai to be like. There has to be pono. Pono, in this case, translates to me to become one with yourself. In becoming one with yourself, you will then become one with Akua, or your higher self. It starts from the individual, and it starts from us here on Molokai, our ohana of Molokai. Aloha ike kai ike kai. Once we can do that, and carry on the teaching of our ancient people, love one another, then we will be able to work together, and to pull together, and to be strong together. Use that mana that was left to us by our kupunas. How to malama the aina. 
But Molokai is something that you feel from within you. It's, it's a very beautiful island, but the love is something within all of us. The love that flows from deep within the Na'au, that's the Molokai that we can continue to keep and to bring it out stronger. Yeah, that aloha. Come on Hawaiian again. You know, it's not a blood thing. It's understanding who you are, what is important to you, and then practicing aloha. Aloha means to be with the breath of life from God. And if you're with the breath of life from God, and remember that this is your church 24-7. So, you're not going out the door and on the sidewalk and you go, ah, man, you still in church. Yeah, you practice. Uh, practice in every which way. And if you're happy, you make the guy next to you happy, he makes the guy next to you. And before you know it, we're all happy. We're all taking care of each other. And we all become brothers and sisters again. Uh, and that's what we need.